What's up YouTube? Quick update of all the tanks. Here's the Nano looking good after a nice water change. Penny work going nuts. Uh, got some, uh, uh, what is it called happening in here? Got some Hygrophila. So I can't forget what, it, I, I forget what it is right now, but yeah, doing good. Put a piece of sag in here. I got a runner, piece of rotali, you know, just seeing what happens. Doing real good. Over here, tank just dominating. Newbie found uh, this Vina newbie is some dust and uh, dust, uh, dust and fish tanks. Uh, apparently, it's really hard to grow, which I have seen, and it just uh, opened up. So that's pretty awesome. Baby Tears gave a nice trim, looking good, growing across the bottom. Put Balenciaga egg in that red. You know, it's just, I love Hygrophila, uh, Corambosa, or, uh, Angostifolia. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I like how I have, like, a triangle one, and then it goes up again. So that's, that's, uh, looking good. Nice score of Cardinals. Got some green... Nice boards in there. Here's my mom's tank. How dominating. This tank, it actually goes like... Doo! So, yeah, that's looking good. Uh, th this guy is just letting, letting that oxygen out. Just purling. Kind of has two... Has like that... Do, do, do. And it has that little line going there. It's pretty cool. Uh, quick note on the Tala. It will... Uh, but when you get it, it kind of like loses its leaves, but then it bounces right back because it's such a hardy plant. And then you just trim it, and you get these nice stems of uh, Rotala. Another quick note: I had this Hostifolia, Nubis Hostifolia, in my in my tank, and it just wasn't doing well. So I uh, put it in here, and I think I think there's some sort of plant work going on called Aleopathy. Uh, don't know much about it, but if you Google it, I'm sure you can get lots of info on it. But anyways. I think this Anubius just helped that Anubius because it has that nice new growth right there. And that's why I think this little vow isn't doing so well because of this giant sword. It's just dominating this area. But this this giant jungle vow actually has a chance because it, it, it it's just such a big, big plant, you know. So, nice Nana Petite. Uh, pretty rare. And then... Uh, Excuse my crying brother. Uh, here's the 65. Sweet Pleckle. How you living, dude? Looking good. Uh, that's a that's a very uh, mature Pleckle. He's really nice. Uh, so, just did a nice 50% water change. Removed one sword. It's floating up there. More on that topic later, but... It just wasn't doing well. I think they were, uh, uh, they, they were fighting for nutrients in the dirt because it's just two big root feeders right next to each other. Just wasn't a good idea. Give me a second, Mom. Wasn't, uh, sorry about that. Wasn't a good, uh, wasn't a good combo. But anyways, everything else is doing really well. Uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tank outside. Dustin, uh, actually got me hooked on this idea. Gonna put a I'm gonna put this sword in it out in my backyard and I got a got a little patio thing going on for it. And uh this this thirty seven, just like it's the exact same tank of these uh as those I should say, um is it's gonna it's gonna hold this nice sword outside in the natural daylight with uh, some some of these stem plants, you know. They're really easy to grow. And, uh, yeah, so, another update on that pretty soon. But, um, so, yeah, sword's gonna go in there with some nice dirt and clay and natural daylight. The trick is to leave it in the shade, though, because too much sun will, uh, cause, uh, temperature swings and, and, uh, algae and stuff if you don't really know what you're doing, so. It'll be a cool little experiment. And, um, one thing... I think I have too much... I don't know what's happening. I, I usually never really run into issues. But you see this... This guy's eye. See see how that's nice and clear? 
Get out of here. See? That one's clear, but then see how it's kind of... Come on. See how it's kind of foggy there? That's that's not that, that's a no-go. So, I think I'm going to treat it with this. I don't know. I need to do some research. The Canaplex. I don't know. It says uh, for dropsy, Popeye... I I related issues, but I'm gonna do some research. So don't don't take my word for it. But I'm gonna do some research and uh, uh, see what I should be using for that. But I've uh, I've talked to a few people about that. And uh, look at this, Bosmani guys. So uh, uh, get ready for a quick update uh, on the tank outside next Sunday. Peace out. Isn't that sweet, folks? Boom. Later.